what I said on that day. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty, and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now, we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We're met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate. We cannot consecrate. We cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world would little know, no long remember what we say here. But it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It's rather that we be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us. That from these honored days, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. And that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, there were going to be many more bloody battles after the one again. Too many more. Too many mothers were going to lose their sons. Too many wives would lose their husbands, and far too many children would lose their fathers. And yet, the war went on. Until April the 9th, 1865, after more than 623,000 Americans had died, No one has ever been better at killing Americans than Americans. And we have to make it stop. But Robert E. Lee and his army surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia. And for all intent and purposes, the war was finally over. 